thought I would give you an update on what we're currently doing because we haven't actually like vlogged anything as of yet this week. So it's currently Tuesday evening and we are in a senior. And basically what we're doing is we're working with um, Charles this week, so we're not um, in the senior to go to schools or anything. Um, and basically we're doing this agricultural sort of thing where like there's these different villages and try and like showing them these like um, these like crop bags. <laughs> yeah. Called like picks, like P-I-C-S. And they're like a specific type of bag to like put all their like beans in or their rice. Um, to stop it being infected by like chemicals and like insects and stuff. Yeah, and whilst we're here, we're eating at this sort of what do you call it? A restaurant. It's just like a slightly dodgy cafe. So here we are again, and here I am again with my special breakfast. Here's some feet. Another chicken head. The lady yesterday promised that I'd have two chicken heads, but I feel like I've only got one, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. But yeah, here's our, here's my breakfast. The girls have got beans and chapatis. They've also got loads of fruit. A bowl full of fruit. Ben's got some similar thing to me. He just doesn't have the special bits, which sucks for him. I mean, he's missing out on a treat here at the end of the day. Right. So this is the team this week. Yeah, that's a Plus a few extras that are somewhere else. Where's everyone else? Where's everyone else? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I've seen you. So it's quite cozy in the CA car. Good job. <laughs> 13 people in it. Oh, yeah. This is the team that have fought the Jazz CA and Zare. They have it chilling in the front. She's a bowler. She has to sit in the front. She does look quite squishy. I'm going to show you what else we're made in a bag. 13 people. That's a lot. <laughs> I take my cross. I count it all as loss. Cause Jesus, I love you, yes. And I Which means it's a four month anniversary! Four months! In exactly two months, we're gonna be at home. We'll actually be. We'll be like, actually, like, probably be in our houses. Which is really weird. Um, but yeah. Woo! Four months down, two to go. It's like, woo! But also kind of like, oh my gosh! <laughs> I had to say. <laughs> quick update. So yesterday we went back to Regicha, um, just as like a quick sort of visit thing. But one of the teachers there said to us that all the stuff we taught the kids from a few months back, they've just had their exam results for and they'd all done really well on the stuff we taught, which was like really uplifting and encouraging. Yeah, so just thought I'd fill you in on that. Woohoo! Today we're going into town. Um, <laughs> 
just to do a few errands and maybe get some gifts for some lucky people at home. <laughs> um, Judith's coming with us. Um, we're all going. And also, bad news, I need to fill you in on this. Yesterday, <laughs> I was getting my washing in and there was a lightning storm outside and I thought I was gonna be struck down. So I ran and I tripped and my flip flop broke, which is really sad because I've worn them like every day for the past four months. But Judith is insistent that we can get them fixed. Mm -hmm. We can. <laughs> <laughs> so, hoping to get that done today. Two. Here's Sam. Bye. Ben is on the phone in the window. So if you can see, see him. him. You can't even see him. <laughs> and Emily's upstairs. And I don't know where I'm at. He's in the conference hall. He's in the conference hall. Yeah, having a conference. Sort of <laughs> so, flip flop update. Yeah, we thought they were unfixable, but Judith took them to this guy across the road who basically like sewed them back together. And I've no idea how he did it, because um, this bit was like totally detached from that bit, it just snapped off. But he somehow managed to sew the rubber um, and now they're fixed again, which is great news for me and my feet. So Emily and I are cooking tonight. Um, we've been out and we've bought our ingredients and this is what is in the back. Mm. So we have, we're making a pasta bake by the way. <laughs> Two bags of pasta because we didn't know if one would be in there. And we haven't had pasta since we've been here. We've had yeah. spaghetti, but it's just not the same. And this is penne pasta. Uh, we have Lovely. some mixed herbs, which include oregano, sage, basil, thyme, and madura. I didn't know what that was. Other. <laughs> some bit of flavour. Then we've got two. Tins of tomato paste, which we're hoping is going to be okay to make a sauce. Yeah, we can work it around it. The finishing touch, which we found by chance, is Tabasco. Tabasco. Yummy. Yum. And then we're also going to put onion, garlic, maybe some peppers, maybe some carrots. Who knows? Oh, and we got some cheese. Yeah. I'm not going to have cheese on mine. I'm just going to have. These guys have got um, like a block. It's actually it's like a brick of cheese from New Zealand. <laughs> so who knows? But off we go to cook. <clears throat> so we just cooked a massive ton of pasta in a huge pot, and now we're just cooking the sauce to do with it. Look at this stove, gigantic. You have to use a match to light it. It's dangerous. Eventually, we're going to mix them together, put it in the oven. It looks like that's all pasta, we can there's water in there as well. <laughs> this is the finished product and it looks as well. Such good. Such good. Hang on, go. This is so good. It doesn't it's not fried. His eyes are actually watering. <laughs> He's so emotional about this. Just tearing up, it's just so beautiful. It's got cheese in it. It's so good. It doesn't look as good. It, video then. Oh, it's just not fried in oil. There's no oil involved. It's just Tastes like home. Yeah. Tastes like home. And if I do say so myself, it is amazing. <laughs> so it is Sunday morning and the boys have gone to church and me and Emily have decided to stay at home just because we want a bit of a rest day. And we're doing our washing. And we've also just woken up to the really horrible news about what happened in London and watching it on the TV. We just feel really far away and sad. It's not very nice. Um, but anyway, this is how we do our washing. In this little area. This is the washing area. And we basically get a bucket and we fill it up with water from this tap. And then we scrub until it's partially clean. <laughs> and then we hang it on the washing line. Oh yeah, we have a rinse bucket. I forgot about that stage. Look at the nice colour of that water. <laughs> and then we just hang our stuff on the line and sometimes it's dry, sometimes it's not. Sometimes, sometimes it gets smooth, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> it's all a bit of a gamble. Um, and yeah, I think our clothes are getting to the point where they just feel a bit dirty all the time. Grimy. Yeah, grimy is a good word. 
So yeah, that's what we're doing this morning. I hope you're all having a lovely Sunday. <laughs> Happy Sunday! <laughs>